Jessica Williams is a 19 year old girl from Queens, New York. She joined the Black Blade Squadron after her boyfriend Tori Jackson and his brother Edward Jackson joined in. Since then, Jessica and Tori now have the job of exterminating mutants and monsters to protect not only their country but the entire world. Jessica is one of the squadron's elite soldiers, alongside others like Tori, Eric, and Lucas. They should be rather leaving their dreams than killing off monsters. Her dream is to form pop rock band with Tori, for his vocals and Tori's guitarist. I think she would rather be doing than listening to music, include reading comics, watching anime, listening to rock music, and gaming. Which is pretty much the same thing Tori likes doing. So. Her weapon, the Death Sensor Blade, was specifically designed to only be used by her. Only Jessica wielded it, it's that heavy. In Jessica's hands, a Death Sentencer Blade is a brutal killing machine. In anyone else's hands, it's useless. Other than her sword swinging skills, she also has a powerful kick. It's many people refer to Jessica's striker, due to the fact that Jessica has more to her than just strength. She hates this nickname. We'll get we'll get angry at anyone who calls her that. Jason Edwards. The Black Blade Squadron has the job of exterminating dangerous mutants and monsters in order to protect the world. Once a mutant slash monster is killed, it is sent back to the lads for inspection. That's where Jason comes in. Jason Edwards, a 19 year old boy from England, joined the squadron in order to keep his baby sister Madison from harm. Jason is what you may call a specimen retriever. He collects the bodies of dead monsters and mutants and kills them if they're still living and takes them back to the lab. So Yudi, a girl around her age who happens to be the squadron's top scientist, can dissect them. Although he plays an important part, nearly all the squadron soldiers don't know who he is or that he even exists. The people who have seen him around see him as just plain lazy. This could be due to the fact but when he's not in the labs, he rarely shows his emotions and his gaming way is PS Vita with some of his friends online. When he does show its, his emotions, it's usually to his friends. And Nudy, the scientist he's currently in a relationship with. Our final character is Edward Jackson. Though, he's a character I don't really want to say much about. The only thing I do want to say is that he was once a soldier of squadron, but turned evil somehow. He used to be nice, he's not that nice at all now, so... If you don't know what I mean about being good and turning evil... Think of something like Magneto from the X-Men, or Tetsuo from Akira.